Protesting Polish farmers on tractors blocked highways leading into Warsaw while thousands of their supporters gathered in front of the Prime Minister's office. Some trampled a European Union flag and burned a mock coffin bearing the word farmer. The protesters are demanding a withdrawal from the European Union's Green Deal, a plan meant to fight climate change with measures that farmers denounce as excessively costly. They also want the Polish-Ukrainian border closed to stop the imports of Ukrainian food products. Demonstrators started fires in front of the Prime Minister's office, in one case leading to a confrontation with police, while some have thrown fireworks at officers, according to Polsat news journalists. The farmers participating in the strike carry anti-Ukrainian banners. The protesters addressed the Polish Prime Minister with the demand for the protection of Polish borders from the influx of uncontrolled products from Ukraine, Russia, and Belarus. If the government doesn't protect us, we will perish. Poland will disappear. We are all united together. In unity, there is strength, we will not allow the farmers to be divided," one of the protest leaders said during his speech. According to media reports, the farmers were prohibited from entering Warsaw with tractors. Barriers and spikes were set up to prevent farmers from entering the capital, Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk proposed on March 5 to meet with farmers on March 9. To resolve the contentious issues, Tusk also announced the submission of a draft resolution to the Polish parliament, calling on the European Commission to impose sanctions on importing food and agricultural products from Russia and Belarus. In a recent statement in Prague in February, he announced the possibility of expanding the national embargo on Ukrainian grain imports to encompass additional products. Aby rządzący w naszym kraju podpisali się pod traktatem akcesyjnym. Ten prominent Putin critics who have died in assassinations are mysterious circumstances. For over two decades, President Vladimir Putin has squeezed dissent in Russia. Critics, journalists and defectors have faced dire consequences after opposing him. From poisonings to shootings, mysterious falls from windows and even plane crashes, there is a long trail of silenced voices, according to Newsweek. It is noted that Alexei Navalny, whose death in prison is as yet unexplained, had previously fallen ill on a flight from Siberia to Moscow in 2020 after being poisoned with Novichok, a nerve agent. Alexander Litvinenko, a former Russian spy who defected and was a prominent Putin critic, was murdered with Polonium-210 in London in 2016. Newsweek says that other deaths of opposition figures under Putin's rule also appear to follow a pattern. Boris Nemtsov, shot dead near the Kremlin, and Stanislav Markelov, assassinated in Moscow alongside journalist Anastasia Baburova, are just two examples. Natalia Estemirova, abducted and found dead in Chechnya, and Anna Politkovskaya, an investigative journalist murdered in her Moscow apartment building also paid the ultimate price following their descent. According to the publication, here are 10 prominent Putin critics who have died in assassinations or mysterious circumstances. 1. Alexei Navalny died in prison. The Russian prison service reported that he fell unwell after a walk and lost consciousness. Navalny was known for exposing corruption, investigating Putin's inner circle and leading anti-Kremlin opposition movements. His death is likely to be seen by fellow opposition members as a political assassination attributable to Putin, but is as yet unexplained. 2. Mikhail Lesin was a former Russian press minister and media executive. He fell out of favor with Putin and faced scrutiny for his wealth. Lesin was found dead in a Washington, D.C. hotel room. The official cause of death was ruled as accidental, blunt force injuries, but questions persist about the circumstances. 3. Boris Nemtsov was shot dead on a bridge near the Kremlin. His murder remains unsolved, but many believe it was politically motivated. Nemtsov was a vocal critic of Putin's government, advocating for democracy, human rights and transparency. He served as a deputy prime minister under President Boris Yeltsin and later became a prominent opposition figure. 4. Boris Berezovsky was a wealthy businessman oligarch and former ally of Putin. 
However, he became a vocal critic and fled to the UK. Berezovsky was found dead in his home in Berkshire, England. The official cause of death was ruled as suicide, but suspicions remain due to his high-profile opposition activities. 5. Sergei Magnitsky was a lawyer and auditor who opposed a massive tax fraud scheme involving Russian officials. He was arrested, imprisoned, and denied medical treatment. Magnitsky died in custody following severe beatings and medical neglect. His death led to the passing of the Magnitsky Act in the United States, which sanctions Russian officials involved in human rights abuses and corruption. 6. Stanislav Markelov was a human rights lawyer and journalist. He was assassinated in Moscow by a gunman who also killed journalist Anastasia Babarova. Makhelov had represented victims of human rights abuses and criticized the Russian government's actions in Chechnya. His death raises concerns about the safety of those opposing the regime. 7. Anastasia Babarova, a journalist and activist, was shot dead alongside human rights lawyer Stanislav Makhelov in Moscow. She had reported on neo-Nazi groups and political violence. Her murder remains unsolved, but it is believed to be connected to her activism. 8. Natalia Estemirova, a human rights activist and journalist, was abducted in Grozny, Chechnya and found dead later that day. She had documented human rights violations in Chechnya and criticized the government. Her murder remains unsolved, but it is widely believed to be connected to her activism and criticism of the Chechen authorities. 9. Anna Politkovskaya, an investigative journalist, was shot dead in her apartment building in Moscow. She had reported extensively on human rights abuses, corruption and the war in Chechnya. Her work was critical of Putin's government and her murder sparked international outrage. Despite investigations, the masterminds behind her killing have not been brought to justice. 10. Yuri Shkekochikin was a journalist, writer and a member of the Russian state Duma. He investigated corruption, organized crime, and human rights abuses. Shkekochikin suddenly fell ill and died from an unknown cause. Some suspect poisoning, but the circumstances remain unclear.